All right, 2014 Ford Taurus. I'm replacing the condenser and AC compressor. Figured I'd make a video how to remove the bumper. Um, so you got a 10 millimeter bolt there, 10 here, 10 here, and 10 there. And you have two fast clips there. Um, you don't have to take these off in the front. So we'll take those off. All right, so 10 millimeter there. Got these flask kips here, you can use a flathead. Yeah. Pop those out. Actually, some more. 10 millimeters here. Got a 10 millimeter here. And here. Okay, so you got five and a half millimeter here. One, two, three. But one, two, three. You have another one up there. It's a screw. You got an eight millimeter here. Then you have these. Three, four. Same thing on this side. On the inside, you need to disconnect that connector. That connector there. that all right these just get a flathead turn them slowly don't apply pressure just to get a gap like that once you get them all like that you can go back with like a flathead or something to pop these out and I'll show you here Go in there, pry out. All right, so you got the five and a half millimeters here. One, two, three. This here is like the other ones. You just screw it out, get a flathead, pop it out. I'm doing this one-handed, so get me. Pretty sure that's not. Uh, OEM, pretty sure it's supposed to be like a bolt here, but uh, that's what we got. And then you take out the five and a half. Same process on the other side. All right, once you got that off, we're gonna come inside, grab it, acquire some force, pull it out. Um, try not to overly force it show you on this side so my fingerprints there like that okay i'm not going to show this part because i need both my hands but you basically pull it out and then you can lift up from here and bring it out put it to the side uh easier if you have a buddy uh but it's just me so now once you have it off uh, you pretty much see how it comes out here and then you got all that that's your actual bumper this is just a uh, fascia proper nomenclature so yep it's pretty much do it reverse pro process to put it back on just a little reminder before you install it I always put some tape on this pipe so when I'm installing it it doesn't come over and scratch the paint um, some masking tape 